before I actually begin, I would love to have all of you say what is on this screen, all right? So in three, two, one. Excellent, excellent. I thought it would be nice to actually hear how I sound when I talk. So thank you all. My name is Jeanella Gunil. I am an award-winning CEO who stutters. I am also a triplet. And make sure you guys see. I am also a triplet. In this image here is my mother, my elder siblings, and my two other thirds as well. The baby on the bottom is my brother, Polycarp. Laura is on the left, and the baby on the right is me. <laughs> Growing up was difficult. We were ridiculed and just truly bullied. However, we had each other to lean on. As we got older, Laura actually grew out of her impediment and leaving Polly and I with what is called a long-term stutter. As, as a fashion academy owner, equipping at-risk fashion these designers, my role as a CEO enables me to actually redefine the realm of possibilities for st st stutterers in the world. What is a stutter? Stuttering is a speech difference that causes the flow of the speech to be interrupted. There, over 70 million people have it. One in 20 children develop it. And one out of every 100 children have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am one out of the every 100. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> there are different types. Um, the one that I have is a developed mental, where my late uncle actually uh, had it, and my late grandfather as well. Now let's get into the different ways that it can actually appear. I would love to have all of you say the sentence that comes up. Is that all right with you guys? Yeah. All right, let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead now. <laughs> Excellent. This is called repetition, where you are unable to control the speed, and you have to do it over and over again. Ready for your next one? Yeah. Excellent. Go ahead. <laughs> OK. Excellent. <laughs> This is also a repetition as well, where you are unable to actually control the speed. Here's the next one. You can go ahead. Yes. This is called a prolongation, where you are actually prolonging the sound. Of course, I do this already. And the last. Excellent. This is where your mouth and your jaw is actually re ready to say it, but there is a block happening. Now, let's now, of course, I do all of them um, to minimize the severity of it. I do some tapping. Or I do the head nodding. I bl blink my eyes, of course, all the time. And I do jaw jerking as well. However, not every stutterer does this. 
but I do. Now let's get into more behaviors, if you will. Go ahead. All righty. This is how, this is where you feel the impediment coming up, but you are actually replacing either the sound or the word. And the last one is called avoidance. This is where uh, you are in s certain environments that is causing you to have in society. Mm -hmm. And however, there is a special place where I don't actually do this, which is the fabric store. <laughs> I love it here, um, and the reason is because um, your uh, attitudes and feelings also play a role as well. When I am in, in an environment where I am in joy, I barely stutter. However, if you make me angry, it will come out. <laughs> of course, Having an impediment caused me to have insecurities as well. There was a time where I questioned God, why me? And he told me, Janella, your impediment doesn't define who you are. You are more than you can see. And he was right. I went on to actually being that and I am on the journey of being more as well. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but wait! <laughs> and it also taught me that I am bigger than it, that it isn't bigger than me. And so my it is my impediment. But for all of you, it can mean anything else. So I am here to share with all of you the pillars that have truly helped me to actually regain my worth. Number one, you have to retrain your mind. In other words, talk about your ability. Meditate on that as well. And actually visualize being the best version. What I do is I write down I am. I am um, lovable. I am whole. Ooh, I am whole. Mm. <laughs> Listen, sorry, it just hit me. <laughs> the other is to ch challenge the story that you tell you. You are, you, 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 you can either edit your story or keep it as is. So there was a time where I actually kept telling myself that, that I wouldn't amount to much. I literally had to forgive myself for even thinking like that. Then I had to actually divorce from that narrative and marry the best version of who I am. And of course, our words have power, meaning your words can either feed your insecurity or starve them. So, I ask you all, when an opportunity knocks on your door, who answers? Is it doubt? Is it fear? If it is any of those things, I want all of you to literally take that out of your mind and think positive, all right? What I do, which actually, I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and close your eyes. So I want you guys to close your eyes, all right? This is how you can arrest your insecurities, all right? So I want you to inhale and exhale and then repeat after me. I am choosing to release fear. I am choosing to release fear. 
Choosing to release fear. Inhale and exhale. Awesome. I am releasing fear now. All right, then inhale and exhale. Fear is no longer in me. Open your eyes. You are a whole new person. <laughs> <laughs> and doing that, you will actually notice that I am more than I can see. And those of you that, 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 have an impediment as well. You are more than what you hear. Thank you.